I showed you the Elon Musk of Ghana. Someone who built a car from scratch that drives like this. He built it from scrap metal and a diesel engine. But today, I want to show you the second Elon Musk of Africa in Sierra Leone, where this guy built a much cleaner car that doesn't even use a diesel engine. It uses the rays of the sun and it's also made of trash. Who is this guy and can this solar car go faster than the diesel one? In Freetown, Sierra Leone, I found Emmanuel. Hi, Nasdeli. I'm Emmanuel. I built the first solar car from trash. See, where Emmanuel lives, every single car emits pollution. This is a problem for the environment and for his people too, who suffer from health issues such as infections, allergies, and even cancer. I could see what all car fumes are doing to my people and wanted to come up with a solution. But everything he thought of needed money, money that he did not have. So one day, he decided to use something he didn't have to pay for, his own imagination. And that's when he started building a solar car. He visited junkyards, collected lots and lots of trash, and started building his dream car. He put together scrap metal, cane sticks, old cables, and wires. And just like that, his car started to come to life. Three years later, after a lot of hard work, the Imagination Car was born. I call it Imagination Car because it was everything I imagined it to be. He painted it with his country's colors, green, white, and blue, and put everything inside it. Doors, headlights, brakes, even a horn. <laughs> and this car can go up to 15 kilometers an hour. And most importantly, his car does not pollute the environment because it runs entirely on solar. I had a solar panel on the roof, so it doesn't need any fuel. No fuel means no fumes. Now, anytime Emmanuel drives outside, people stop and stare at this car made from nothing. And he doesn't plan to stop there. I am an inventor. I have 50 more solutions to save the environment. He dreams of building more products that are environmentally friendly. Products that reduce pollution, products that reduce noise and clean the environment. Emmanuel did not just dream of a better future for his people. He made it happen even when he had nothing but junk. This is proof that the solution to Africa's problems may not come from Europe or America. The solution to Africa's problem will come from Africans themselves. Did you like that video? I hope so. It was a lot of effort and we're so happy to make it. In collaboration with Facebook, during the month of Ramadan, we are showing you the stories of 30 people in 30 days and each one of these stories is more amazing than the other. I hope you continue tuning in for this special daily series. And follow us on Facebook. That's more than a minute. See you tomorrow.